Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh YouTube Ali here recording a response to Mr. Investigate Islam basically accusing me and he claimed that uh, I would say that he is accusing me because he knew that he was so let me uh, get into this uh, because it's going to be a pretty huge video for, for this one um, basically he claimed that I was making fun of Jesus Christ in what I said and uh, basically what I was saying was the fact that he claimed that something that Yusuf Ali did was more extensive than anything Jesus Christ did. That's what I was saying. So I was I suggested to him that uh, if he's go if if Yusuf Ali can do these kind of miracles, that he should consider praying to Yusuf Ali. And uh, let's hear what I said. Okay, uh, I recorded this from his video clipping. So he, let's hear what I said, okay? So I'm going to play it uh, here on my little media player thing in a jig here. Hold he on. did. Yusuf Ali is copying from some website. <laughs> First of all, Yusuf Ali must be better than Jesus Christ because he's been dead since 1950. So for him to be copying from some internet website, the guy, you know, must have, uh, you know, been better than Jesus. He came to the future, copied from the internet, went back... In the, in, in the past, and in 1938, he published his translation. I'm telling you, Yusuf Ali is the man. He was able to time travel. Jesus Christ couldn't do that. Ain't that some stuff? You guys need to start praying to Yusuf Ali, man, because Jesus couldn't do that kind of thing. Alright? So, what? So, basically, um, yeah. What was I saying? I was saying that you are accusing him of time traveling and to me Jesus Christ never did anything like that so uh, he did a huge miracle uh, to, to came, come to the future copy something and then um, you know went back to the past and write it and yet you know okay fine you you said that I'm accusing Jesus but you you still you slandered the person okay you slandered the name of you know someone that you know in my opinion, did a really good job of uh, translating the Quran so that a person like myself who does not understand Arabic can understand it. You slandered his name, and you're not apologetic at all to that. And let's let's hear what you said, okay? I mean, a guy that died in 1950, you're claiming he came to the future, copied from an internet website, and went back. So my my thing is, I'm not saying anything wrong about Jesus. I never claimed that he died, and I'll I'll get into that a little bit because you claim that I said that he said that he died. I didn't say that. I said that Yusuf Ali time traveled, came to the future, and went back to the past. That's what I'm talking about, okay? And you're gonna you 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 don't understand English. If 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 you're if you're taking from what I said about the time travel thing, if you're if you didn't understand English, you would you would say that that's what I'm saying. Okay, let's hear what you said about Yusuf Ali. Okay, this is what you said about him. You are reading his translation. He himself is not an Arab. He do not speak good Arabic, and I don't believe even he is the one who translated the Quran. Because if you go, you will see his copying from the site and posting to you. Go and compare between his translation. And the translation of this side, you will see his copying. Okay, so so what 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 uh, what are we talking about here? We're talking about you claiming that uh, you know Yusuf Ali is copying from a website when in fact he didn't. So like I said, you're slandering the name of a person um, who is dead and can't even defend himself. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. All right, I, I, I yeah I made it sound funny about how. You know, he, he, it's a great miracle. Yeah, it is. You know, if some guy time traveled, you know, we're still trying to figure that out in science today. So, you know, if he had the knowledge to do that, he knows something better than we did, right? So, come on. I mean, what what kind of crap are you talking, man? You know. Then you said that uh, Muslims, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, don't even have any respect for Allah. Friend, you're the one lying here. Okay, saying that a man that died, you know, years before the internet was something common. Okay, you're saying that he died. He came and copied from the internet. This is what I. This is what I. What I was talking about. The time travel, and it's specifically mentioned in the the in the clip that we played a few seconds back, where I said time travel. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Okay, that the miracle. You know, better than anything that Jesus has done. I never claimed that Jesus died. Okay. Then you said that uh, basically, uh, if I respect Jesus, I wouldn't compare him to Yusuf Ali. I was showing how stupid your argument is, and why I compared um, the 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 you know Yusuf Ali with um, 
Jesus. This is why I compared. I mean, as far as a Muslim is concerned, I believe in the miracles of Jesus alayhi salam. I do. A hundred percent. Whatever miracles are recorded in the Quran, I definitely accept those. Okay? You know, so so for for so I'm not I'm not questioning that. I'm questioning the fact that you're claiming something about someone that didn't do it. <laughs> That's what I'm questioning. This is why I said what I said. Okay, this is why I said you know if he did that, he's better than Jesus because he time traveled. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Then you told you said that um, what else do you say that. Uh, I'm saying that Jesus is of the past. That's not what I'm saying. You have to listen again. I was saying that you claim that Joseph Ali time traveled. All right. Um, so and yes, be very careful of this. This is not good at all. You're putting words in my mouth. I never claimed that Jesus died. Not anywhere in the what I said did I claim that Jesus died. I said what I said was that Yusuf Ali time traveled, and this is from what you said. Okay, and if you want to hear from what you said again, let's play it again, just in case you missed what you said. So here's what the you said again. The one you are reading his translation, he himself is not an Arab. He do not speak good Arabic. And I don't believe even he is the one who translated the Quran. Because if you go, you will see his copying from the site and posting to you. Go and compare between his translation and the translation of the site. You will see his copying. Right. So here again, you, this, this is the lie that you purport, and you're yet you're yet to, um, you know, apologize for that. Okay. Now that you've seen the truth, you didn't. You, instead of apologizing, and I say, okay, I, I'm sorry. You know, that was my misinformation or something to that effect. Instead of saying something like that, what do you say? You start pulling wool over people's eyes, saying that I said, you know, Jesus died and all these other things that I never said in my video. Okay, this is the problem here, where you're deceiving the people, and this is, you know, maybe, maybe this is what what you're taught: deceive the people and get them into the fall, fall of Christianity. In Islam, we're not taught that by by my master, as you call him, study that, and I'll get into that in a second. Okay, then you make the allegation that the Quran is full of lies, friend. I would like to see you back that up. Back up the lies that the Quran supposedly have, and don't come because because the Quran says this and the Bible says this that the Quran is false. Okay, because in Jeremiah eight eight, okay, the Bible itself in Jeremiah eight eight, it says that the scriptures have been corrupted by the scribes. So from the internal evidence in the Bible alone, it tells me that there's something wrong with your scripture. All right, okay. So then um. You said that, you know, you're 100% right. I cannot understand the Quran without the translation because I don't speak Arabic. Okay? That's a fact that I would never deny. Alright? But you're a fool to say that uh, that I said that he died because I never said that Jesus died. I never claimed that. Okay? So you can't even understand the proper English coming out of my mouth. I mean, maybe I speak with an accent and you don't understand. Maybe I talk too fast. I can't help that sometimes because, you know, you know the, 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 the time limitation on these videos. Okay? So, again, what I was talking about was that you claim that Yusuf Ali did time traveling and I'm saying that if he did that he's better than your Jesus because Jesus never time traveled Jesus is alive I believe that 110 percent because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Jesus, Jesus was not killed or crucified he was taken up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will return inshallah one day where he will die as a man on earth so there's no there's no question about that I'm not going to question that because I know for a fact that that's what the Quran tells me okay so now let's get into um, what else? Uh, what else did I have here as notes? Um, yeah, I already talked about it. Don't put uh, words in my mouth. Okay, there's a big difference between uh, time travel and the past. Okay, and you should go to dictionary.com and figure out what that means. All right, and um, then uh, you know, basically, again, like I said, you're slandering the name of a person. You're slandering a person, claiming that he's cheating and copying from someplace else, and when shown that you're, 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 you know. Your allegations are false. Instead of uh, apologizing for that, you, you in, instead go and create some other crap to, to, to deceive the people even more. Okay? I never claimed anything you know bad about Jesus Alayhi Salaam. I never said that. All I said was that if what from what you claim that Yusuf Ali did a better miracle than Jesus, and if that is the case, you should I, you should pray to him. That's what I said. All right. So then, um, uh, what what else is this? It then. Why do you quote people out of context? Okay? You almost caught me. Almost. I'll say you almost caught me. But Alhamdulillah. Allah gives those, you know, the answers when you seek them in true faith. 
Okay, you said that Didat, my master, right? That's how you claim him, but he's my master. And yes, I do have all of his videos that I have posted on there to so that my brothers and sisters in Islam and those who are being tortured by you guys, be them atheists or Hindus or whatever, can go and say, listen, this is what your Bible says and this is why you believe in a false religion. Okay, I mean, because this is what you guys do to us. Okay, you come to us and say, "Well, the Bible says you know this, and Bible says that." So we can, you know, Dida did a pretty good job of going into the Bible and saying, "Here is what your Bible says, and why why don't you believe that?" Okay, so this is why I have it posted on here. Okay, and uh, Alhamdulillah, Dida created a video also how not to do dawah that one of our brothers posted on here, and he talks about that. Don't deceive the people, and this is exactly what you're doing, friend. Exactly what you're doing, deceiving the people. Why do you do that? Okay? And what am I talking about? What 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 lies am I talking that you're saying that, that I'm saying that you're deceiving the people, okay? So you you played a, a clip from 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 Didat, okay? You played a clip from him saying that he claimed that the Ikra only means to read, okay? And here is the clip from your video. I'm gonna play it here real quick. Hold on. Okay. I'm not going to argue forever about the word read or not. I will show you your master my saying clearly that the word Iqra means read. You know who's your master? If you open your page, you will see that the dad is all over your page. You have nothing there but the dad. He's your master, right? So, let us see what your master, he said about the word Iqra. If it is read or recite. And from the understanding of Muhammad, we will see that the word means Iqra, not recite. Listen carefully. Why don't you let the uh, the viewers hear the rest of that uh, video? Why why are you deceiving the people like this? Why? Okay, you're claiming that Didat said, you know, I cannot read, and that's all he said. Okay, why don't you listen to the rest of the clip, brothers and sisters out there, Muslim and non-Muslim alike, listen to the entire clip that Didat for, from that Didat debate uh, discussion, and and listen to what he says. Okay, listen. Here is the full thing of what Didat says. Listen of the month of Ramadan. There was no fasting month then. It was unknown. But it was the season among the Arabs, Ramadan. And he sees a vision. In which the Archangel Gabriel comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, Iqra, read! And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi being illiterate, unlearned, he says, Ma ana biqarim. He said, I'm not learned. What can I read? He asked me to read, I can't read. So the angel of God commands him a second time, Iqra, read! And again he says, Ma ana biqarim. The third time the English says, Iqra, this be Rabbi Kallazi Khalaq, forbid me in the name of the Lord and Shari Shari created. Now the Holy Prophet Muhammad Ikras, everybody is required to do is to repeat, because this Arabic word Iqra means to read, to recite, to rehearse, to repeat, so he repeated the words. The first five verses of Surah Al-Alaq, chapter 96. Did you hear it? Did you hear it, my friend? Okay, he said that the Prophet Sallallahu then finally understood what it meant to go and read, recite. Okay, that, that, th why didn't you play that whole clip for people to understand? Why do you take things out of context of what the, our, our, our good scholar Ahmadida did? My master as you claim him to be. Alhamdulillah, I have a great master. Okay, then, um, so yeah, so, so, so why, why the deception? Okay, is this how you're, you're taught to propagate your faith? Maybe it is how you're taught to propagate your faith because you follow the teachings of Paul, right? That's what he did, Te <laughs> deceive the people. Right? Rather than telling the truth to the people, rather than saying, you know, this is what he said. This is, you know, right? He said it, it also meant to recite, right? So, I mean, come on. Why, why are you lying to people, friend? Why do you lie to people? Is this what your religion teaches you, to lie to people? Because this is exactly what you're doing, and it's pure proof right here. 
right here is pure proof. I don't need to go any further to show how much of a lie that you're purporting. Okay? Then you said either the angel um, didn't know the word or Muhammad was slow for, for this read thing. Okay? Again, if all I know is gardening and I came to the city and you said that I need to go to that plant, then I would... I would ask question which plant because me being a gardener I know only you know plants mean certain trees okay so getting into to, to, to this um, acro thing okay he was unlearned okay so he you know when when the person said acro of course you know the, the the meaning of it is to read right so you know one of the meanings of it is to read I should say right so when when he was commanded Ikra, he assumed that they're talking about reading, and I don't know how to read. Just like the plant, I don't know what you know what plant you're talking about. And I didn't know you were talking about a manufacturing plant. Okay, so and uh, you know maybe maybe you're too illiterate to understand that. Okay, and then you told me that I had two choices: either Muhammad was slow or the angel was stupid. I propose a third choice. Okay, and that is because that is you're stupid and you cannot understand the context uh, and mind frame. Okay, and I choose option three, of course. Okay, a man who cannot read, when he assumes someone is starting to read, of course he's going to say, I cannot read. Okay, and he, um, here, here, here's something you should do open up Microsoft Word real quick. Okay, type in the word read, highlight it, and go to the thesaurus, and you'll find a couple meanings of read. And I did that in, in using um, um, Office 2003, and there are the words that come up as understand writing, interpret. Uh, convert, understand, study, examine, comprehend, translate, glance at, study, recite, deliver, announce, and speak. And that's the order that they came in in, in, in the thesaurus from uh, uh, Microsoft Word. So what was one of the words that was, was very similar to read? Recite. Alhamdulillah. Even the English dictionary shows us this thing. Okay. Then um, you ask why uh, didn't uh, Muhammad not tell... Why didn't the angel not tell Muhammad that he's not saying to, to, to um, read but to, to recite? It's very plain and simple. Okay, when when Allah commands the angels, you know, give this 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 um, wahi to or verses to um, the prophet. That's exactly what the angel came to do. He didn't come to explain the verses. He didn't come to do anything but to give that wahi, this knowledge. Okay, Just, so I mean, by by that, okay. <laughs> You know, the angel is not going to give anything more or anything less. Allah says to, to, to start off Ikra, and that is how the angel started off. Ikra and, uh, you know, the rest of it. Okay? Just, I mean, and, and you should understand this. When Allah commands the angel, go and pick up 100 and 801 grain of sand. That's exactly how many grains of sand that the angel is going to pick up and take to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that is his command. Okay? So it's the same exact thing for taking a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet. And that is what angel Jibreel al did. Okay, he took the the, the 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 verses that Allah gave him from heaven to the Prophet sallallahu and that is what the Prophet sallallahu was made to re recite. Okay, so with that, I end this video. For the rest of my viewers that are watching, thanks for viewing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, you know, been better than Jesus. He came to the future, copied from the internet, went back in the in, in the past, and in 1938 he published his translation. I'm telling you, Yusuf Ali is the man. He was able to time travel. Jesus Christ couldn't do that. Ain't that some stuff? You guys need to start praying to Yusuf Ali, man, because Jesus couldn't do that kind of thing. Alright? So, what? So, basically, um, yeah. What was I saying? I was saying that you are accusing him of time traveling. And to me, Jesus Christ never did anything like that. So, uh, he did a huge miracle uh, to, to came, come to the future, copy something. And then, um, you know, went back to the past and write it. And yet, you know, okay, fine, you, you said that I'm accusing Jesus, but you, you still, you slandered the person, okay? You slandered the name of, you know, someone that, you know, in my opinion, did a really good job of uh, translating the Quran so that a person like myself who does not understand Arabic can understand it. You slandered his name, and you're not apologetic at all to that. And let's let's hear what you said, okay? I mean, a guy that died in 1950, you're claiming he came. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, YouTube. Ali here, recording a response to Mr. Investigate Islam, basically accusing me, and he claimed that uh, I would say that he's accusing me because he knew that he was. So let me uh, get into this uh, because it's going to be a pretty huge video for, for this one. Um, basically, he claimed that I was making fun of Jesus Christ. 
in what I said and uh, basically what I was saying was the fact that he claimed that something that Yusuf Ali did was more extensive than anything Jesus Christ did that's what I was saying so I was I suggested to him that uh, if he's go if if Yusuf Ali can do these kind of miracles that he should consider praying to Yusuf Ali and uh, let's hear what I said okay uh, I recorded this from his video clipping so he, let's hear what I said okay so I'm gonna play it uh, here on my little media player thingy with Jake here Hold he on. did Yusuf Ali is copying from some website <laughs> first of all Yusuf Ali must be better than Jesus Christ because he's been dead since 1950 so for him to be copying from some internet website the guy you know must have came to the future copied from an internet website and went back so my my thing is I'm not saying anything wrong about Jesus I never claimed that he died and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit because you claim that I said that he said that he died I didn't say that I said that Yusuf Ali time traveled came to the future and went back to the past that's what I'm talking about okay and you're gonna you 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 don't understand English if 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 you're if you're taking from what I said about the time travel thing, if you're if you didn't understand English, you would you would say that that's what I'm saying. Okay, let's hear what you said about Yusuf Ali. Okay, this is what you said about him. You are reading his translation. He himself is not an Arab. 